ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ ജോയ്സ് വർഗീസ് എം ജെ കൺസൾട്ടൻ്റ് ഓർത്തോപ്പിക് സർജൻ ആൻഡ് സ്പോർട്സ് ഇഞ്ചുറി സ്പെഷ്യലിസ്റ്റ് ലൂത്ത് ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ കൊച്ചിൻ ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് എം സി എൽ റീകൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ വിത്ത് മോഡിഫൈഡ് കിംസ് ടെക്നിക് ദ ടു മോസ്റ്റ് കോമൺലി ഇഞ്ചുവേഡ് ലിഗമെൻസ് ഓഫ് ദി നീ അത് എ സി എൽ ആൻഡ് എം സി എൽ ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു സി അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ത്രീ പേഷ്യൻസ് ഹു കം വിത്ത് എൻ എ സി എൽ ഇഞ്ചുറി ഇൻ യുവർ ഒ പി ഡി വിൽ ഹാവ് എൻ എം സി എൽ ഇഞ്ചുറി സോ ബട്ട് വെൻ ദർ ഇസ് എ കൺകോമിറ്റൻ ഗ്രേറ്റ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ഗ്രേറ്റ് ടു എം സി എൽ ഇഞ്ചുറീസ് ദർ ഇസ് നോ നീഡ് ടു ഡു എനിങ് ഫോർ ദ എം സി എൽ ദ എം സി എൽ വിൽ ഹീൽ ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ബട്ട് വെൻ ദർ ഇസ് എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ത്രീ എം സി എൽ ഇഞ്ചുറി വിത്ത് അതർ ലിഗമെൻറ്റ് ഇഞ്ചുറീസ് ദെൻ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി യുവ് ലെറ്റ് ഇൻറ്റർവീൻ also when there is a chronic grade 3 mcl injuries it requires a surgical intervention so a chronic tear or a irreparable acute tear these are the situations which will require mcl reconstructions so several techniques for mcl reconstruction have been described in the literature and the most common one is the one described by leprad the anatomical double bundle technique which requires four tunnels and two different grafts that means it is more expensive and it requires more implants another problem with this technique is because of the number of tunnels is more there is more chance of tunnel coalitions so do we need a simpler technique which can give consistent results so let's see so when do we do an mcl reconstruction first scenario is a combined acl plus a grade 3 mcl injury with an andromedial rotator instability when the mcl injury is chronic or irreparable you will have to go for an mcl reconstruction chronic grade 3 mcl injury with a pcl injury and then there is a chronic isolated grade 3 mcl injuries these grade 3 mcl injuries which were treated conservatively they come back with a persistent instability this is also an indication for a mcl reconstruction and the fourth scenario is a chronic multi ligament injury scenario then also you will need a mcl reconstruction so how to reconstruct mcl the anatomical double bundle technique while applied as i mentioned earlier requires four tunnels four bio screws and it is a longer surgery so there is another technique called the modified kims technique which is a rather simpler technique and it requires a single tunnel and just a single bio screw and the surgery time is also less and the complications are also less so this is a schematic representation of this technique so if you go into the video this patient has a chronic grade 3 mcl injury with an acl injury and uh, the, this is the incision which we put on the medial aspect of the knee starting from the medial epicondyle up to the uh, medial adductor tuberculum of the tibia and the incision is deep into the sartorius fascia and what we do is for the mcl reconstruction we harvest the semi tendinosus graft without detaching its distal insertion so we also make sure that we preserve the inferior tendinous bands also of the semi tendinosus to make the uh, insertion of the semi t more anatomical and more comparable to the that of the superficial mcl you can see what uh, that we are using an open tendon stripper to release the semi tendinosus proximally without detaching its distal insertion so once it is harvested we prepare the tendon and make it uh, ready for the mcl reconstruction so we identify the point on the distal femur on the medial epicondyle for the insertion of the superficial mcl so the point is slightly superior and posterior to the medial epicondyle and we pass the tendon graft underneath the sartorius fascia onto the medial epicondyle and fix it onto the medial epicondyle with the help of a single bio screw so we make sure that the tunnel drill for the fixation does not coalesce with the acl tunnel or the pcl tunnel or whatever tunnels we are making in the distal femur for fixing the proximal uh, part of the uh, mcl reconstruction we just use a single tunnel and a single bio screw and this is the only implant which we require in the surgery so once the proximal part is fixed the remaining limb of the semi tendon is brought back under the sartorius fascia onto the posterior aspect of the tibia and what we do is we do not use an implant there to fix it but we just fix it onto the semi membranosus insertion site semi membranosus is firmly attached to the posterior aspect of the tibia so that we can with a little bit of tension we can suture it onto the semi membranous insertion so that the posterior oblique ligament part of the uh, mcl is also reconstructed so that's how we do this um, modified kims technique where we use a single tunnel on the distal femur and there is no other implants or tunnels required for reconstructing this and we have seen consistent results with this technique and we have done a study of this uh, technique of around 146 patients and we found comparable results to that of the leprad technique and we are about to publish the results of the study thank you